for one, if you're a longtime viewer, you probably are well aware of my love for the Clarins, it's a very long name, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I have four here. I think there's at least four more scattered around my house and in various handbags. And a few of you brought to my attention that you had heard that Sephora came out with a dupe for this lip product and wanted to know if in fact they are the same. Well, I picked out two colors from the Sephora, they are called the Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm. And let's answer the question, are these a dupe or are these nothing like the Clarins? Let's find out. So a little bit about the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. Whew. These are, they come in a little squeezy tube. They're $25 for 0.4 ounces. They come with a doe foot applicator attached to the top. They have a very, very faint, but lovely vanilla scent and taste on the lips. And they are definitely a sheer wash of color. My favorite um, that I use the most, actually I have two tubes, is the 01 color. And the most opaque one that I have is the Plum Shimmer in 08. It is the newest release. Now the Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm comes in 20 shades instead of the eight shades that Clarins comes in. So there's quite a variety. It is 10, they are $10 each for 0.32 ounces. They have a very strong, almost a cherry, some sort of fruity vanilla scent, much stronger, and a little bit of a taste. I happen to be wearing the Sephora on the top and the Clarins on the bottom. I think you can see the difference. This is the Clarins 01. It is sort of a lip enhancer. It doesn't actually add exactly pigment, whereas the Sephora one is much more pigmented. So both of them claim to be non-sticky. Not really, okay, it's sticking. It's sticking to my top lip. So here's the verdict. They are both interesting products. They both could be considered good in their own right, but I most definitely do not think that the Sephora version is a dupe for the Clarins. I definitely prefer the Clarins Lip Perfector to the Sephora one, and I will go through all the reasons why. And I have bought all of these. Nothing was given to me, so I've gone out and bought all of them. So first of all, the scent. I much prefer the Clarins scent. It's a very faint scent versus the Sephora scent, which is a much stronger scent. The application. So like I said, the Clarins has a doe foot applicator and the Sephora one has just a hard plastic tip with a hole that you have to squeeze to get the product out. I find that the delivery method with the hard plastic top leaves it much more likely to have products smear all over your face. Whereas with the doe foot, it holds the product in more closely. You don't need a mirror to apply this. You can just follow the contours of your lips and you are good to go. I also like the Clarins Lip Perfector for what it is. It's not meant to add significant color to your lips. It's not meant to be a lip gloss. It is a lip perfector. And the reason that I actually picked the first one up was because I had been watching <clears throat> uh, SC Button. Was her, I know she goes by her real name now, but it was Essie Button on YouTube. And every time I saw her lips, I was just fascinated. I thought it was the most beautiful color she was wearing. And every time I checked the description box, it was the Clarins in 01. So I thought, all right, I need this in my life. And it is absolutely, they are, these are moisturizing. These are a your lips, but better. They don't actually leave a distinct color except for the plum shimmer one, which I still love. But this one you have to take a little more care with wearing. And they are non-sticky and they're lovely. The Sephora um, Colorful Gloss Balms are nice for what they are if you're looking for a lip gloss. I do not feel like these in any way, shape, or form could be characterized as a balm. These are most definitely a lip gloss. They are perhaps a bit less sticky than a full-on lip gloss, but they are a bit sticky. They are much more opaque and um, they don't have the same effect. It's not this lip enhancer so much as it is leaving color on your face. So let me show you some swatches. So the color that you're seeing on top, that pink color is Warrior Princess. And as you can see, it's quite opaque. And if you put it on too thickly, you are gonna get those stringy marionette lips. And then the reddish color on the bottom is Girl on Fire. They're both lovely colors, but they are definitely nothing like the Clarins Lip Perfector. So let's take a look at those. Now we have a selection of the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. And we have at the top my favorite, the 01. 
Um, I don't remember the actual names of them. I just have the numbers. Then next we have 04 and then 05 and 08. And as you can see, they do have some color to them, but they are sheer. You can see the skin underneath for the most part. Um, five, maybe a little less so. But um, they're definitely a different consistency, um, a different kind of pigmentation, and they definitely will have a different effect on your lips. So I still feel like of all the lip glosses I've tried, and I'm not a big lip gloss fan, the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfectors, or Natural Light, I still can't get the whole name right. Let's just call them the Clarins Lip Products, are very unique. They're very distinct from all the other products I've ever tried. I would not characterize them as a traditional lip gloss at all, um, whereas the Sephora version is really just a lip gloss. And if you're into lip gloss, I think there are a lot of other options out there that are just as good, if not better, than the Sephora. But if you're looking for a nice um, lip gloss at a good price point with you know 20 different colors, there's going to be something that you love in that in there. Then it, it's not bad, but it's definitely not not a dupe for the Clarins. And for that reason, it's still I still prefer the Clarins just because of the uniqueness of the product and just how it wears on the lips. I think they're fabulous. So those are my two cents, dupe or not, not. Let me know what you think if you've tried both products. I'd love to see if we came to the same conclusion. And let me know if you'd like me to do this with any other products that you are curious about. Are they dupes? Are they similar enough to make it worth your while? Or is there no comparison at all? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's coming. Okay, I know there's a lot of hype and there's gonna be a lot of hype because this is huge. This is the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I have literally been saving and planning